Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to create a welcome sign for a wedding in Canva. So this specific welcome sign is going to be for a wedding, but you can create your welcome sign for any event that you're having. This tutorial is going to be for the do-it-yourselfer that enjoys creating their own stationery for their event. So this design is going to be in portrait orientation. Once you're in Canva, head to create a design in the upper right hand corner. Head down to custom size. This document will be 18 inches wide by 24 inches tall. And you can feel free to enter any dimensions that work for you. Once you have your dimensions in, hit create new design. I know sometimes starting off with a blank document can kind of be daunting, but what you can do in Canva is search through their templates. If you head up to the search bar and type in what you're looking for, it'll bring up some templates that can give you ideas. So I typed in wedding in the search bar, and here are some of the templates that are available to use. So my thought for this design is to avoid flowers. And the reason is because I use flowers an awful lot in things I design, so I kind of want to stay away from those for this one. And I think I also want to do a neutral kind of color scheme. But what I first want to do is head to the elements, which is over in the left side toolbar. I'm going to scroll down to the collections. I'm going to click on see all. Collections in Canva is a group of elements that are together in a pack and are designed with a certain theme. And so these are a good idea to use if you want to keep all of the elements the same. So you don't have to go looking around in the elements for ones that match elements that you've already used. You can just use all the same elements from the collection. So just to kind of show you what those collections look like, this one here is called 3D Corporate Icons. And if you click on it, you can see all of them have a similar design and would go great together if you were designing with these. So I'm just going to scroll through the collections here and see if there's anything that may pique my interest. So if you've watched any of my previous Canva tutorials, you know that I'll typically add a few elements to the page and then I'll decide which ones I actually want to use within the design. So I found this collection, it's called Scanned Weathered Map Scraps. And since this is a wedding welcome sign, I do like this heart. So my idea for the welcome sign is to have like a background with like wavy lines or different color shapes that are like a muted neutral color and then have a arch in front of that background. And then that's where I would put all of the text and information for the welcome sign. So now I'm going to go in and find those colorful shapes or blobs that I'm going to use as well as an arch. So I found a few elements that I think I may want to use. So now what I'm going to do is select them all and make them smaller and see what I have. And something that I like to do when I'm designing something is once I have my elements that I think I might want to use, I'll end up duplicating this page by heading to the upper right hand corner of the individual page and clicking on duplicate page. So that way if I want to test something out on the second page or maybe if I need to copy and paste any of these original elements, I'll have them right here. So what I'm going to do now is basically get the background set up and it's going to be these color blobs that I can change the color to and then I'll put the arch on top of it and add the text. So I'm going to delete all these other elements off of this page and only leave the colorful blobs. So as I was trying to move around those different colorful blobs, I decided I'm just going to use this one 
because I like that it's more narrow than the other two. And I'm just going to pretty much stack this one. And so now I'm just going to actually change the color of this and copy it a few times and arrange it. So since I'm stretching these elements a little bit bigger than the page, it's going to get a little bit difficult trying to pick certain ones. So if you click on an element and right click, and head to layer, and show layers. So this shows all the layers on this page. So that way I can rearrange them as I wish. If you click on the layer that you want to move and click on the three dots here, it allows you to duplicate that element. So with these colorful blobs, I do want to make sure that the corners are definitely filled in. The inside, not so much. As you can see here, there's a little bit of white that's peeking through between the elements. And that doesn't bother me because I'm going to be putting that arch on top of these colorful layers. So once you have all your color shapes how you want them, now it's time to add that arch. So I'm going to go down to page two, the page with all of the elements, and bring the arch up to page one. But before I do that, I think I want to group all of my colorful blobs in the background and maybe even lock them while I place the arch. So once you have the arch that you're going to use, you just make it as big as you'd like. So you want to keep in mind like how large you want the background to appear. So depending on how large you make your arch, that's how big your border will be for your welcome sign. If I was to make the arch this big, the border around it is about an inch and a half on all sides. But I would want to make it a little bit smaller so more of that border can show. And you want to center your arch. So I would probably make mine about this size here, and that will make the border about two inches on all sides. So a preliminary look at this design, I don't really like all of this orange, like up at the top of the arch. So I would probably add like another colorful blob here, or I may just move all of the color blobs up a little bit and see if that looks better. So now what I'm going to do is actually move this arch to page two so that I can move around the colorful blobs without the arch moving. And then I'll take the arch and move it back and see if I like how the color blobs are. So now that I have my blobs where I think I want them, I'm going to add the arch back to this page. So now it's time for the fun part, adding the text. So this sign is going to say, welcome to the wedding of the couple's name. And then I'm going to put in a date for the wedding. So I would want to do the word welcome as well as the couple's name in like a script type font and then the rest of the text probably like a sans serif so i'm going to put in the text and then i will show you which fonts i used for which words so to add text to your design type t on your keyboard i like to do my text in different text boxes so that way i can have more freedom in adjusting the text So this is essentially where the text is going to be placed, but now I'm going to pick the actual font for each of the text boxes. So I increased the size and the orientation of certain words on the sign, and now I'm going to pick the font. So to change your font, click on the text box you wanna change. Once you do that, up at the top, it's going to give you all of the options to alter your text. All the way to the left of the text toolbar, you can click to choose your font. If you know a font name or a font style that you'd like to use, you can type in the search bar. So I'm just gonna go through here and find all of the fonts and I'll come back and show you which fonts that I used.
So here's our welcome wedding sign and here are the fonts that I used. So for the word welcome and for the names, I used a font called Harmony. And for the text that says to the wedding of in September 2024, I used a font called Proxima Nova. So once you have your welcome sign how you want it, it's time to download it. Head to share in the upper right hand corner. Click on download and choose your file type. Since you're getting this printed, it would be best to choose PDF print. And if you have multiple pages in your document, you will have to select which page you want to download. So in this case, I'm going to download page one. So I'm going to uncheck the box that says all pages and then just check page one and hit done and hit download. Once your file is downloaded, you can have it printed by taking it to a print shop. If you don't want to deal with printing and just want to have your print delivered to you, Canva offers printing services. So if you wanted to do that, you would head back to share and click on print with Canva. And again, you would just pick which page you want to print, in this case, page one, and then you can print it in different sizes. And so since this is already sized at 18 by 24, I'm just going to pick the medium option. And you can also decide to have a frame for your welcome sign. And right up here, it gives you a preview if you added a frame. So this concludes the video on how to create a welcome sign for a wedding in Canva. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.